Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Open House. Unfortunately, I had to make a video in advance because our girls volleyball team will be playing against Liberty tomorrow, tomorrow night during the Open House. So I just wanted to introduce myself and give you just a short video to hopefully help you navigate through the course if your child is still struggling or if they have any questions or just to allow you to get an idea of what your child will be learning in uh, math of personal finance this year. So my name is Mr. Henwood. Uh, I've been teaching here for about seven years in Las Vegas. Uh, I'm born and raised in Nova Scotia, Canada. I speak a little bit of French. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable in Spanish. Love math, love finance, and love coaching sports here at the school. So that's a little bit about me. Um, anytime you want to set up an appointment or chat with me, feel free to reach out with an email. Um, I'm very easy uh, to chat with over the phone. You can get a hold of me as well if I'm not in class. Um, but the best way to reach me will be through email. Um, one of the things I wanted to do is just kind of walk you through what we cover in this class. So the first thing to look at is here on the main page. Um, most of our material is underneath the module section. However, throughout each quarter, students will have one major quarter project each quarter. Uh, the first quarter project um, was a job resume and a job interview with me. To actually be able to sign up to do their interview and bring their resume in the day that they do their interview, they were required to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one appointment. And that link is actually right here where it says sign up for one-on-one -on -one appointments. If you click that, it'll bring you out to a calendar that looks like this. This calendar is my Google Calendar and students are allowed to click on a time that they want to sign up. So if they want to meet sometime, let's say Wednesday, next Wednesday, the 22nd, depending on what period there, they'll just click on an empty box and it'll fill in their name for them. So that's the quarter project. Those are the biggest parts of the grade. The actual coursework, coursework each week will be under modules. So if I click there, this brings me to what we can see we do each week. And I like to organize the class by weeks. So your student will have all week to try to finish assignment. For example, if we look at one of the weeks previous, let's take a look at week four. This is very typical as to what you'll see in a week. Students normally have some math to practice on, on IXL and website that we use in class. I provide them with some video resources on a topic of the week and some reading material on the topic of the week. Uh, their job is to finish three assignments each week. One of them is providing research on some questions about the topic for the week. So this week, the topic was credit cards. And I'll normally put together six key questions that they'll go and research and collaborate on with other students. Once they feel comfortable about the topic, we normally have a class discussion later on in the week and we provide answers and share with each other. After that point, they'll typically take a quiz, which is about 10 question quiz. And the last assignment for a student each week is what we call in our class weekly journals. A weekly journal is essentially a one minute screen recording where they explain to me what they've got out of the week, what they understood, what they might have talked to their own parents about, researched on their own, but it's a, just an opportunity for them to reflect on what we actually covered for the week. So as you can tell, we cover some good topics so far. We've talked a little bit about how to set up a bank account and what different options there are, why a credit card may or may not be useful at this time. And this week and next week, we're getting into talking about credit score and the importance of credit score. Just as a heads up, some of the other topics we'll be covering throughout the year, some college and federal aid. We'll talk about getting loans possibly. Car insurance is a big one that the students seem to like. Um, identity protection, buying a vehicle, healthcare. Those are all some of the other topics we'll be covering for semester one. Um, outside of that, as long as a student is successful at competing, completing their weekly questions and actually turning in their quiz and their weekly journal, 
they should be extremely successful in this class. I look forward to any questions or any um, meetings that I might have with you in the future, and I hope you guys have a great night.